sin x in the numerator of the integrand can be written as sin of x minus alpha plus alpha. This can be expanded and therefore the value of i is equal to sin of x minus alpha times cos alpha plus cos of x minus alpha times sin alpha divided by sin of x minus alpha dx. Now this can be broken into two components. In the first component, sin of x minus alpha cancels across the numerator and the denominator and therefore the first term is equal to integral cos alpha dx. In the second term, cos of x minus alpha is divided by sin of x minus alpha resulting in cot of x minus alpha and therefore the second term is equal to integral of cot of x minus alpha times sin alpha dx. The first term is equal to x times cos alpha and the second term is equal to sin alpha times ln of sin of x minus alpha plus the constant of integration. This can also be expressed as ax plus b times ln of sin of x minus alpha plus the constant of integration where a is equal to cos alpha and b is equal to sin alpha.